Check one, two. All right, friends, I'm the Zim. This is the Zim video, and this is how to set up your Streamlabs OBS and your computer and your games to stream uh, to YouTube, Twitch, and TikTok. And these are all the settings. So I just recently bought a new computer and I lost all my settings from previous. So I've been troubleshooting and going through this process. So hopefully we can get you to it quickly if you're streaming in a similar format that I am. A couple things to think, remind you, this is for Streamlabs OBS. The paid for the, it's there's a free version, but it's paid for, it's not the open source OBS, but some of the same settings might apply if you know how to apply them. So this is Streamlabs OBS. So first things first, we're working with a MacBook Pro. So I'll show you the settings, a laptop. This is streaming off a laptop, Apple M3 Pro, um, 18 gigabyte, you know, Macintosh. This is, you know, like it says there, the M3 Pro, but, any M3, probably same settings will work just fine. So we're streaming, we stream the Switch. And so, but it'll probably work with Xbox and PlayStation as well, whatever console you have. Keep that in mind. We are also streaming, like I said, to YouTube, Twitch, and TikTok. So we'll show you, as you can see on the screen right now, I have a vertical format, which is not set up for this view, but vertical format and horizontal format. So when I'm streaming Splatoon is my main game I stream. This is what it looks like. I don't have the video for the switch on right now. So this is what you'll, these are the settings. So once you download your OBS software to your desktop, you know, the, on the left side, there's the gear sprocket. So click that, open that. The first thing we're gonna go to. So first off your stream, I'll let you refer to the directions from OBS, from Streamlabs to connect all your, um, you know, places that you want. This is not this video. This is not connecting to your services. If you want me to help you through that at some point, put it in the comments, but I think you can figure that out. The first thing we're going to look at though is output. Since it's recording, I can't manipulate it since I'm recording on OBS <laughs> as well. So, or Streamlabs OBS. So first thing you're going to look at is the advanced output there on the top. Um, second thing. And so you want to switch output mode to advanced going down on the streaming tab, um, we go down to encoder. It'll be, you wanna switch it to the Apple hardware encoder versus the, I think it's like 624 um, software or encoder for the, it's a basically a difference between the CPU versus the GPU. So the Apple VT is the GPU. So we're using the GPU to encode the video going out. Um, if rescale output is clicked, unclick it. Um, we'll talk more about that in a second. Um, CBR is default to set to rate control. Bit rate, you may or may not want to change this. I'm going to show you how to do variable bit rate because um, that's what I have it set up so that when frames getting dropped or things like that, it will adjust your bit rate going out so um, you won't get dropped frames. So I, it'll change this. Like if you log back in, like 4,500 is where we wanna set for the settings that I have, but it'll change it sometimes <laughs> based on what was happening the last time you streamed. So keep that in mind. Also keyframe intervals, you wanna change it to two um, for YouTube and, and going out. And then I just have it set to profile high, which was the default. I, don't, I didn't change anything else on the recording audio or buff replay tabs in this setting, but down in audio, we want to change it to, it starts at this default set to 44 kilohertz, change it to 48 kilohertz, 48, um, yeah, change it to 48 kilohertz. That's what I set it at. And then on the video tab, we want to, it might be set to default to 1920 by 1080. Um, some people like to downscale their output. I've found I used to downscale all, all the time because I was, thinking about what the other person on the other end might be confronted with. Like you're kind of want to think about giving everyone the option to view your stream as best as possible. So you don't want to send the highest resolution out because they might be watching it or have worse internet than you have. So you want to consider that, but I've found streaming at the same, like don't not downscaling works fine. I'm feeling like we're at his time in, you know, where we're at with internet, I think most people can handle 1920 by 1080. Um, you can go higher than that, but we don't need to do that. Um, the downscale filter um, by linear, because we're not downscaling now, we're just keeping it. And that's gonna be the, the easiest on your you know processing and data, all that stuff. Uh, 
frames per second type, I have it on common and in the frames per second value, I have it on 30. Again, this these reasons are because I am thinking about the other side. I'm not trying to send 60 frames per second because do you really need 60 frames per second for game streaming? I don't know. Let you can decide if you need it or not. Um, next one we want to go to is advanced. This is where we can set that variable bit rate. So you want to scroll all the way down to network and click this dynamically change bit rate um, when dropping frames. So maybe if you have the most rock solid internet you don't have to toggle this i do i have spectrum internet in rochester new york and i recently was streaming and it was dropping frames like crazy and i it, once i click this i didn't i don't have a problem with dropping frames i do have to deal with buffering and pixel stream sometimes but at least the stream stays kind of smoother it doesn't um, drop frames and get frozen and that's really it. The last thing I forgot to mention on video. So if you want to stream to both YouTube, Twitch, and a vertical format like TikTok, enable dual output up in the upper right corner up here is what you want to click. Um, so that'll allow you to do both the vertical format and the horizontal format when you're outputting. Hopefully this was helpful. If you feel like I've missed anything, let me know in the comments and we'll talk about it or maybe i'll just make a new video but hopefully this will get you up and streaming as soon as possible with a smooth stream all right come support my channel subscribe and you can forget about it <laughs> you never have to look at my channel again i'm an artist art professor game streamer those are the things i do and that's what we talk about and do on this channel also have a new show called keyboard warrior which i hope you'll check out it's all about putting two mechanical keyboards head to head um, so hopefully it'll become a viral sensation and um, yeah, you, you can say, I knew him when. All right, as always, my friends, be loving, kind, and patient. Peace.